And, you know, let's talk a little bit about ADCC. What was your most memorable matches uh, in that competition? We all know the Mark Kerr one was probably the most historic. But for you, what was the most, like, satisfying or what was the most, um, you know, what was the biggest win for you? What was the toughest fight for you in ADCC? Uh, I think the biggest moment, like, I think Mark Kerr was one of the biggest for sure. Yeah. yeah. As a was my first ADCC. Uh, was an open class, uh, and uh, was very challenge, you know, to to fight against that guy. S- super strong and fast for his size, and the strategy that we built was wasn't working. And then <laughs> have to then I had to change during the match. Was was pretty tough, but at the same time, gave me a lot of confidence to to you know to fight uh and didn't they sorry to interrupt you but didn't they tell you like i I remember you telling me the story like uh you were like they asked you the brazilians asked you to go to the open and you were like oh who's it gonna be and they're like oh some some american (laughs) you know they didn't really tell you who it was and then you went there like oh shit yeah so like yeah i don't know i don't know what's like you know that are beside the the fights that a lot of political there are a lot of you know uh the artists and hell and like so i don't know like i was the i was the from the open class i was the lightest and then and they were and he was the heaviest so yeah. i so but but the big i became a very tough fight for him because i you know was pretty you know intense and the fight was draw he we supposed to fight the, the overtime so he didn't make the overtime so they the referee decided to give me minus one as a penalty and then and then even after the fight so he quit he doesn't want to come back to the fights and then he called they call me again to make this the, the next fight because, oh, wow. because he, he he was not feeling good but then they give him extra time because the same time the competition the competition doesn't want to, uh, uh, Brazilians always win the, the open classes because always a super fight between Brazilians. Yeah. So they want to promote nationalities. So that was, so they, they was making, giving him a better time, a best, more time for he rest, he rest, he recovered, he came back and he was a beast. Like he win the, the whole competition. Yeah. And then he, he make the super fight, but you know, so, but, yeah, so that's what this fight was very was was tough because of people's people knew it how how strong they how how big yeah. he the grappling. He 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 already fought with uh uh with Fabio Gogel MMA and then after that that the DCC he was fighting some uh, like good athletes he was beating everybody in, in in Nogi. So he was very tough in the for ADCC rules, you know, and and I was like, I, I was trying to survive what was, <laughs> yeah. So there was a lot of talking, a lot of arguing. Sometimes he was really mad, you know, like I was. And he was really, like, weren't you like making faces at him or something, like monkey faces or something, like? Uh, to, to, I guess I pull guard, you know, like the idea was. Uh-huh. Oh, like the idea was to they told me to pull guard and I pull guard, you know. But he put in the half guard, he was squeezing, he had the hands like a you know, like a big monkey. So he was squeezing, he was squeezing my neck, he was choking me, he was like a choke with the hands. <laughs> like, oh my god, man, I, I'm not gonna tap it, dude, right? Yeah, so I, I protect my neck and then he starts squeezing my brain, my head. It was <laughs> more painful than choke. I was, oh my god. And then I hit to my neck again because it's so <laughs> it was in my head. And then oh. I said, oh, I can make it go out of this guy. Yeah. Stand up. And then I decided to stand up. And people, are oh, you crazy? You're going to stand yeah. up. You're going gonna, gonna to kill me if I play God. With him. And I thought, I said, don't play God with that guy. He's a monster. Bro. Better, <laughs> better you play stand Better do stand up. Oh. I remember there was one part where you, he was standing here and you shot a double leg. And it looked like you're like he was like a brick wall, and you just see your legs go like this, and you didn't move them once, but your legs kept moving. It was hilarious, you know. And for those of you guys who haven't seen this match, you got to look it up. 
Uh, Mark Kerr was, he was about what, 260, 270 pounds, shredded with abs. Uh, he looked a lot like I do now. No, I'm just joking. But like he was shredded, 270 abs, uh, one of the best wrestlers in, you know, UFC history, pride history. And, you know, Leo fought him in the open class. And the thing with this match was, you know, he couldn't take, he couldn't really finish the takedown. He couldn't score on you. And here is this wrestler. And I, what I remember was, Jacare saying you only had like a couple weeks no gi training with Paul Crichton in Atlanta, and you hadn't really even done any no gi training before. And that's yeah. for me, that was like one of those moments where I was like, shit, jiu jitsu is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, if, if that's what this guy could do against this monster, you know, how truly amazing in this is this art that we do? You know, that, that, that was huge for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me too. And then <laughs> I decided, I think the story behind with uh, jiu jitsu. Vale Tudo, yeah. and, and then the story behind it for the martial arts in ADCC was the first ADC that was really open, a lot of people invited, and that made Jiu-Jitsu and look, the Jiu-Jitsu community be together. The Jiu-Jitsu and Luta Livre be together because it represented Brazil. Yeah. So it was a, was a, was a very important, it was very nice, like uh, tournament, very important to the sport.